member of Toastmasters since 2010 and is our current Region 4 advisor. So she look, she's providing advice to all the clubs in Western Canada, I guess Central Western Canada and down into the United States. She's starting the strategic relationships path where she'll explore new relationships. And today, she thought it would be what better way to start this journey than to reflect and share the different types of relationships that she's acquired over her lifetime. Hmm. She's completing the icebreaker speech today. The purpose of the icebreaker speech is for the speaker to introduce themselves to us, so provide something that we may not have known before, and just to feel comfortable with speaking in front of an audience, which Catherine also already has that experience. Our timer, Diane, can you provide the green light at four minutes, the yellow at five, and the red light at six minutes? With her speech titled, A Reason, A Season, and a Lifetime, please welcome distinguished Toastmaster, Catherine Sekundiak. I was looking online at a poem uh, related to relationships. It is called Reason, Season, and a Lifetime by Brian A. Drew Chalker. The opening statement of that poem is, people always come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. And when you figure out which it is, you will know exactly what to do. And so as I begin this journey on my strategic relationship path, one of the paths available in the Toastmasters education program, I thought, as Brad mentioned, that I would take some time to reflect and share with you the different relationships I've had in my young life so, so far that have been there for a reason, a season, and I know will be there for a lifetime. So first, a reason. These are relationships where you meet a need. And for me, I equate this to many of the project team members I've had an opportunity to work with over the years. Whether it's been a work project or a Toastmasters project, I've had a lot of opportunity to learn from and work with different people from all around the world, really, being able to take from them tools that I can apply to other situations. You know, currently, right now, I'm working with some leaders in District 64 in Manitoba, Liz and Doreen, and we're working quite diligently to prepare some presentations for leaders in that area. But I know that will come to an end, even though I will often think fondly of Liz and Doreen if our time together goes very, very well. So the next type of, of relationship is a season. So these are longer term relationships where you have an opportunity to really share and grow and learn, but it does come to an end. And I equate this to my work relationships. I've had a number of stages in my career. I started off working in a, in a bingo hall as a bingo caller and a supervisor. And I've got lots of relationships that I had built there. I don't see them very often anymore. Sometimes that's a good thing. I worked at a market research firm and have great relationships I built there. Again, I don't get an opportunity to see them anymore, as well as the location I work now. I've had lots of people that have come and gone from our organization, and uh, one in particular stands out for me. Um, an, my previous employer was, was Claude. He was a great mentor for me, taught me a lot about continuous improvement. He gave me a heck of a hard time often which I really appreciated because sometimes I need my butt kicked. He was that for me. He was let go unex without warning from our organization. And that was very, very hurtful for me, very difficult. And we've lost connection, but I know he will always be there for me if I ever need. We're just a social media LinkedIn connection away. And I've had other associations that come and go for a season. I've sold Mary Kay in the past. I belong to a Moms in Motion running group, which really helped me get into marathon running and a better, healthier lifestyle. And of course, Lean Practitioners today helps me with my career, where it is right now, and Toastmasters. 
Lastly, a lifetime. These are people that you build a solid emotional foundation with, that they will be there no matter what. And for me, that is absolutely my family. My mom, my brother, my daughters, and just a handful of friends that I've had over the years that I know that no matter what trouble I get into, they will always be there for me. And I will always be there for them. I will drop anything to go and be a support for my mom. I'll drop anything to be a support for my brother or my daughters. Absolutely. And same with my friends. So people in my life have been there for a reason, like project team members, a season, like my work or volunteer associations and colleagues, or for a lifetime. That's my family. I'm excited to begin this exploration further into relationships uh, through this strategic relationship path. And I encourage you to look at your relationships as well and see, are you understand what type of relationship are you have and are you putting into it what that other person is expecting. I'm going to find and learn more through this path about how I can foster mutually beneficial relationships to learn from others and to give back to others. And also, as Kenny Rogers says, you need to know how to fold them, know how to hold them, know when to walk away, and sometimes you need to know when to run. Back to you, Mr. Toastmaster.